Hey everybody, welcome to another Hellboy board game playthrough. Today we're playing Missing Persons, the fourth case file that I'm cracking open um, for this board game from Mantic Games. So once again, it'll be Liz, Abe, um, the big red machine Hellboy himself, and of course, Johann Kraus, taken to the, like, I guess, the dark places of the world to, to fight some more minions. Um, we'll show you the table, we'll crack the case file open, and we'll get this underway. All right, so here are our heroes set up. We got Hellboy, Abe, Liz, and Johann Kraus. Um, we've changed up our, our six points in upgrades right now. Keeping the Ancient Blade on Hellboy, we're going to have a Warding Talisman so you can re-roll the potatoes. Unless it's another potato, that's a good one. Uh, armor piercing ammo is still on A, but we've lost our lucky charms. So, this is Missing Persons. Acre Falls appears precisely once in Bureau Records, given the birthplace of Polina Rourke. Executed for witchcraft in 1693. Aside from that, it seems entirely unremarkable in matters of the occult. Just another small town. Now, however, it's come to our attention that over the past three months, seven people have been reported missing in and around the town. The dates and times of their disappearance align precisely with Vanderhorn cult kidnappings a hundred years ago. Coincidence? We hope so. Um, a witness claims to have seen one of the missing persons outside of a farmhouse in the outskirts of Baker Hills. Head over there and see what you can uncover. We never found out what the Vanderhorns were up to. Let's hope you can solve this case in time. So it's a duration long, challenge rating medium. All right, so here's the barn we're investigating. Our setup area is here, and there are one, two, three, four doors um, to go through. So having set everything up, uh, we're using the gray, green, and brown deck of doom cards, along with all the agent ones. And then with four agents, there's a red, a green, and a blue encounter card in all three of the brown ones. You shuffle one brown one at random with one random of these cards to form the bottom, then shuffle the rest to make the rest of the deck. Then we placed a trigger marker on the deck of doom, sorry, on the, the doom track at space five. If we reach it, we flip this card. Um, and if we manage to find an encounter uh, uh, container, we flip this card right here. Uh, so yeah, the farmhouse isn't hard to find and it gives you bad vibes as soon as you see it. As you approach, you can hear chanting from inside, deciding no use in hanging around, you bust the door in. You find yourself face to face with a trio of hooded figures. Cliche much? Beneath the hoods, you can clearly see broad amphibian features. Oh great, these guys spawn three transforming frog monsters in the starting room, uh, one in each area other than the starting one, and then prepare the minion slots as follows. So it's transforming, rampaging, armed frog, and venomous frog. The deal with the remaining encounters. Three and four. And we're ready to rock and roll. All right, let's see if you guys transform. So the first one, nope. He tries to run away, but he can't, so he just stays here. This one does, turns into a rampager. He freaks out. Uh, so he's gonna move and try and attack Big Red. So I'll try and shrug this. So we're gonna have uh, Johan and Liz support this to make it red, red, orange. And we block a bajillion. Does this fool transform? He does as well. Turns into a rampager and is going to go attack Liz. That's the most that can fit in here. Whoops, wrong one. You. We'll have B and Abe support Liz so we can get much the same thing. Red, red, orange. Block five. We do exactly five. Uh, it took some cubes to do it, but now Hellboy's mad. <laughs> it's going to make Abe the current target priority, but but these guys aren't going to be here for very long, I don't think. Let's uh, let's pugilate. So we're gonna have a good old Hellboy uh, punch a size of face and give him the ancient blade, and we'll have Johan back him up because Johan's not doing much else right now. And so we get two black and a red. Looking for big numbers, no whammy. That guy is that guy is unbelievably dead. Um, we don't have to heal any healing, so we'll just make this guy explode. Go again. Johan will boost him again, and let's see what we got here. Uh, also unbelievably dead. That's eight, which is exactly six. A will shoot and have nobody back him up. Just do a shoot. Just just try and kill this guy. He's only resistance one with four health because he's just he's not transformed. Yet. That'll do it. This guy's dead. So Liz is just gonna spend two to stoke and go to plus two. Abe's just gonna move and go yeah, one bother exploring yet because there's no point in unleashing the beast we'll take our chances with the doom deck um so let's refresh some actions and see what the doom deck says something useful put this card in play the next time an agent successfully examines a clue token you can draw bottom card of the requisition deck sweet that didn't even advance the uh the doom tracker all right what do we find abe let's uh let's explore 
a minion A, a point of interest, a frog swarm, a minion B, and a scenery one. Well, time to kill that guy. <laughs> Go get him, Abe. Um, let's see what we can see. So it's gonna be shots fired. Big Gamer's no whammy. Uh, yep, and it's AP, so he's dead. I'm tempted to have Hellboy move. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go one, two, and now we gotta flip this card because we entered a point of interest. You find a carefully arranged pile of skulls with a ring of candles. The setup screams ancient ritual, but the skulls don't look so ancient. Doesn't bode well for finding those missing folks. Move this card to in play. During this case, points of interest represent ritual sites. An agent can spend an action to destroy it, remove the point of interest, then reduce the impending doom track by one. When the agent takes time, an agent can investigate the point of interest on the board as a rest action. If they do so, they can take one insight marker from the information gather track and place it on their agent board. Each point of interest can be investigated once per rest phase. He's going to take a step over to here, and he's going to punch this guy in the face. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So it's going to be red, red, black. Oops. And blue die. And we can reroll. So we're going to roll these two. And get a total of six, goes to four damage. We've got two left, and then we'll have Abe take a walk, go to here, and then bust a cat with his last die. So he's going to red, red, orange, because there's a dude in there. A friendly, can we kill him? Uh, we'll reroll all of these. And that's gonna be one damage. I guess it's gotta be you, Johan, one, two, take a shot. Again, minus one. Ah, Hellboy would have been a minus one punches too. Not that it killed that guy anyway. Orange, orange, yellow, do one damage. You, you don't. Last try. You don't. It's gotta be Liz, move one, two, and uh, flame on for another one. And no one do this last point of damage. Reroll both these. You did it. And we're gonna sit on that point of interest because we can use it to reduce the doom tracker, which is cool. Frog can't move because of where it is. Let's flip the Doom card. Ah, oh, haunted by an unknown past. Oh, Abe. Uh, this thing tries to move, like I said, but can't. And I guess we don't advance the Doom Tracker, so might as well just hang out. Well, Liz stoked the fire as her last action there to go up, down one, down one, up one. I guess we now explore. What do we got? Well, another ritual site. So, oh no, not not it's a sentry. If a minion. That is set up in this room is still on the board at the end of the round. Uh, advance impending doom. Uh oh. So scenery two, clue, frogs for a minion. Hellboy's just gonna squash these frogs for one. Then he's gonna move two. One, two. And then he's gonna punch this guy in the face. He's not gonna punch this guy in the face yet. Maybe Liz can just kill him first. <laughs> so we're gonna have Johan go, and he'll go one, two. And he's gonna look at this thing. So he's gonna do a looky loo and take a look here. And we might as well boost it. Yeah, let's boost it. So we're going for red, red, black. What do you find, Johan? <sighs> Just one. So we advance this one. Do you find something useful off the bottom? What'd you find, Johan? Something good? You found a lucky charm. Sweet. Uh, let's do some tradesies as a free action and give that to old Hellboy. And that's Liz O'Clock. Uh, do you want to investigate this thing? The pending new track hasn't moved, so no, not yet. She's going to make a move, and then she's going to take a shot. So one, and then two. She's a plus two right now, so she's red, red, orange, because Hellboy is standing in the square, being in the way. And we can reroll. Let's reroll these. Uh, let's keep this one. We'll keep that one. Reroll the red. Then get two. Frogman's got four left. Hellboy's going to try and finish him off. Let's just do it. Uh, sorry, Liz is going to spend her last one to Stoke. No, she'll just wait, actually. It'll go down by one. Oh, no, that was plus two. It's got two left. But she's down to plus one. And then Hellboy's going to try and punch it. As he does, so he'll go to uh, minus one for the frog. So just red, 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 because of the Ancient Blade. And we get one. Goes to one. Oh, well, Liz, you can't Stoke. You're going to have to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Try and kill this thing. Last shot, so she'll be red, red, orange, because once again, Hellboy's in the way. Just do one damage. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, you, go. you double it. Oh, I can set the thing to anything I want. Let's set it to five. Make it four. Nuke this guy. It's just Abe. He'll move one, two, three, and then clear this frog. So I think we're gonna rest, because there's no baddies here. So we're gonna take time, which means we advance the impending doom by one. And Abe gets to drop this awful card, because <laughs> we're taking time. Nobody's hurt, so we don't have to heal. Um, but it does mean that we will then draw a Doom card. Time's a waste and advance it again. Now we could investigate, 
Uh, agent can spend an action to do that. When the agent takes time, an agent can investigate a point of interest on the board as a rest action. If they do, they can take one insight marker from the information gathered track, placing it on the agent board. Each point of interest can be investigated once per rest phase. Discard it when the confrontation begins. So there's no markers on the track. We didn't we didn't get instructed to set any up. So I'm not really sure how that works. But I'm just gonna take one. On <laughs> Hellboy, each one can only be investigated once. There's only one on the table right now. And it'll be a new turn. Alright, Abe, let's get all our actions back. Abe has now cleared all of his bad thoughts, which is good. <laughs> and he's gonna move and go one, two, three. And then he's gonna move and go one, two. And we'll free action to investigate. Yeah. No, we won't. We're not gonna do that just yet. Have Johan go and go. No, we might as well. We might as well investigate. We might see something cool. What do we find? Uh, minion A and Inferno. Oh, God. There's lots of stuff here, including apparently the building is partially on fire. Yes, Abe's gonna go. Uh, or we could do Liz. Let's do Liz. No, Abe's gonna go. They try and cap this guy. So, red, red. AP, yep, just blows them away. Luckily, Liz is immune to fire. So we're gonna go one, two. We're gonna go one, two. And then we're gonna blast like crazy using her sweet, sweet flame. So it's gonna be plus four, this one. And that will extra super cook that guy down to plus three. And then Johan's gonna go and go one, two. One, two. Ugh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's just gonna get there. I guess and just stop. And then Big Red's gonna go one, two, one, two, one, and be done. And I guess we rest, because then as a rest action, we can clear this. Well, let's see if it spreads first. It does not, <laughs> she doesn't take any damage. So the rest action, we can clear this. We can advance this. Ah, should I just have cleared one of these? Yeah. Or we can just investigate one. Now, you know what? We'll move him back one because he was here. So one, two, clear this one, and then one, two, and he would have been fine even right there. The Doom Track back by one. And you gain one as a rest action to gain another insight marker with Big Red. Still have to flip into Pending Doom. And we got reinforcements, advancing Pending Doom Track, spawn minions A and B in the start area. If the start area is no longer on the board, no minions are spawned. So an A and a B. Transforming and a, and a rampaging. Excellent. And then uh, it's start a turn. Let's roll for first the transforming. Does he transform? He does not. He runs away and goes one, two. Peace out. This guy goes and attacks Big Red because it reset. The end of the round. And uh, do we want to support him? We'll support him with Johan. Red, orange, orange. Uh, we block it all. All right, well, uh, Big Red's going to punch and Johan's going to support him yet again. And that means black, black, red. What do we got? A thousand damage, so he takes seven. Just dies. And then Johan's gonna go. Oh, Liz is gonna go. No. Hellboy's gonna go. He's gonna move one, two. And he's gonna punch. <laughs> and he's just black, red, red now. Let's see if I can kill that guy. I can re-roll this though because of my mystic artifact. I do, so it's gonna be four damage exactly enough to kill him. Supporting talisman, sorry. I get to re-roll the potato. As long as it's not another potato, I don't have to discard it. Uh, and then Liz is just gonna move up one, stoke the fire, and then investigate this to remove the doom tracker down by one. It's just Abe, gonna go one, two, and then Klaus is gonna go to here because he can't go any further. Right, we're not gonna bother resting now. Let's flip the doom card. We found BDI's advanced the impending doom track and use target party to choose an agent, then place a frog swarm in that agent's area. Big red gets one. All right, new turn, no baddies on the table. Let's uh, do some investigation, see what's in here. It's feelings of dread. Make an additional, anyone, any test made in this room uh, suffer additional downgrades. So it's minion D, a clue, minion B, scenery one, uh, minion C, and a clue. Whole bunch of minions. And we don't want to go in there to fight because things things get bad then. But that's okay. Let's do some uh, let's do some blasting. Uh, yeah. So Liz is just gonna explode that guy. I think. Do you want to do it that way? No, I'll have Abe do it that way. Actually, 
Abe's not gonna be a down test because he's gonna be in here. Just take a shot. It's gonna be all reds and no armor. Uh, so I can reroll this one. If I get a two or more, he's just dead. No, nope, it's just five damage. He's minus two resistance. He's got one left. He'll shoot him again. And just kill him. And Liz is gonna go. She'll take a step for one. She'll flame blast into this guy. It's at plus four right now, so it's pretty good, but one of the dice is downgraded. Uh, that's gonna be a reroll though. We'll reroll this and get five, nine. That's more than enough to kill him. Do it one last time against the venomous one. And that's plus three now. So that's gonna be a total of seven, eight, nine. Yep, so it's enough to kill him, then a plus two. And then Johan's gonna go. And we're just gonna start doing some investigating. So we'll move one, two. Then we'll move one. And then we'll investigate. Red, red orange. That's pretty sweet, so it's a seven total. So it'll advance it twice. One, two. And then Abe's gonna go. And he'll make his move. I guess one, two. Three. Big Red's gonna go. He's gonna clear a frog spawn for one, and then go one, two, and hang out with Abe. And just be done. All right, impending doom. Time's a wasting. One more. We've cleared all the stuff, so we have to flip. When the agents uh, take time, they just investigate. Oh no, it's not this one. It's if all the areas were explored, flip this card. So flip this card. You've been through the whole building, but it feels like you're not seeing everything. Then you remember, a hatch in the floor. A cellar, maybe? Set up a new part of the game board as shown, separate from the current game board. Deal a face down and counter card in each of the two rooms. The room containing the area marked uh, counts as having been explored. An agent can move between the setting, certain area and this area by spending two action cubes. So you basically climb up. And also move between the two parts of the game board during the action phase. Move this card to in play. All right, well, we found some stuff, but, but how much have we really found? So let's do uh, let's do some refresh here. And where do we want to go? Well, we'll start with Abe. He's gonna go one, two, three, and then spend his last two to go down and show up down here. Uh, we're gonna have Liz go, spend one, and then two more. So one and then two more. We'll have Johan go. He's gonna go one and then look. His dice are downgraded by one. And he gets a three. I could make this a reroll. I could just make this two. It's not going to matter which one it is. I could roll three in this. I'm going to get a reroll. I do. So I get six. Against this twice. And then he'll spend his last one to go one, two, and just stay on this. Big Red's going to go one, two, one, and then burn his last one, staying there. And what happens? Poltergeist activity. Put this card in play. Each time an agent enters an area that contains scenery, roll a orange dice on a score of two, discard the scenery. The agent takes damage equal to its size. Uh-oh. Good news is we could all get down there now because the Doom Deck didn't push us to, to the edge. We still got one, one spot left. So we're into a new turn. I guess we just go with Abe? Let's investigate. Now we'll go with Liz. She's pretty, she's stoked pretty high right now. So we're gonna go one and we'll do a free action. Frog Swarm, scenery two. The Poltergeist attacker. It does. She takes two damage. Only if she enters. It's just there for now. It's not It's not actually attacking her yet. It's only if she goes into it. There's a, there's a table. So and then Frog Swarm, and then it's Minion B, uh, Point of Interest 2, and C. Well, we might as well explore the other one too, and see what's what. This one's going to be a Frog Swarm, a Scenery, a Clue and a frog course. Now in phase count any frogs in this room twice. So a frog and a scenery one. Another frog swarm and a clue. This isn't the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's first bring down B. Mm, I think we go with Liz. Now we're gonna go with Abe. He's gonna go one, two, three, and clear a frog. Then he's gonna go... Mm, I think that's it. We're gonna have Liz go, she's gonna go one, two, and then she's gonna clear this to remove the impending doom tracker. It's gonna go back by one, by us another turn. 
And then, uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> if all three ritual sites are destroyed, I flip this card. As you take apart the last of the relic sites, the ground gives a great rumble and an otherworldly shriek fills the air. You break apart, uh, break, you back away as the floor begins to break apart, the tentacles bursting upwards until a huge writhing mass fills the room. Wow, someone sure woke up grumpy, skip to the end phase. At the end of the phase, discard this card. So this is the confrontation. Set it up as described in page 26 of the rule book. The boss in this confrontation is the tentacle of Sadu Hem. Um, before constructing its behavior deck, do the explosive rival card and set it aside, then resolve the explosive rival immediately. So everybody basically lost the rest of their turn, um, which means I didn't get a chance to rest, so I can't get rid of any of her damage and I can't luck runs out here. But the frog chorus uh, didn't, didn't matter so much. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Unfortunately, there are giant tentacles and they are going to explosively arrive. Um, discard this card, in, sorry, otherwise the burrow card's in play, discard it, place the boss in the area containing the most agents, use target priority if necessary. All the characters in the area are hurled uh, and a destruction counter is placed in the area. Each character that is hurled suffers five damage minus its resilience. Um, for enemies if the score or defend test for agents. So I'm shooting up out of the floor here. Um, everybody gets hurled, so they all get pushed away. Well, let's get hurled over here because that way we won't get thrown into the the bad spooky ritual site that makes us bad at fighting. Um, so we get chucked over here and then we take five damage minus a defense roll. So for Hellboy, that's gonna be zero damage. And then for Johan, That'll be zero damage, because that becomes times two. All right, well, uh, remaining start of round. So first the explosive rival gets played, then the boss goes again, and summons minions, spawn a minion A and a minion B in the area that's as far as possible from agents, but no more than one from the boss. So it's probably gonna be here. Transforming in a rampaging show up back here. And then it goes again. Never mind, this one only does one. He only does a single card, not two cards. All right, well, uh, now come the remaining monsters. So first the the scaredy pack one, which is right, which is should be this one right here Let's see if he stays scaredy or not Nope, he turns into a rampager and moves two so one two and Then the next one moves one two They can't shoot uh, then this guy is gonna go and he's so first it was towards Well, they can't change levels so it has to be towards these guys. So that's gonna be towards, I guess, Liz is the next most dangerous. And she has to go up against a seven, but it's an eight because this ritual site uh, adds one to melee attacks while minions while they're in this room. So she's gonna take four. It's gonna push the living flame up by one. So one, two, three, four. Last one flips and she's minus one defense. That's not good. <laughs> um, I guess we try and kill that guy now. So start a turn. Let's deal with the basement first. So Abe's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna move his one, two, three. He's gonna shoot, I guess, with his sidearm into this guy. I downgraded because of poor Liz. Uh, so that's gonna be five damage because of AP rounds. Go again. And get to reroll, reroll these. And that's lots of damage, so that's gonna kill him. Liz is gonna go. She's just gonna move one, two, and then move one. And I guess, that, wow, she'll, she'll move one, clear this, and then move one, two over to here. One left, she's not gonna stoke the fire because she's real close to getting mad. You just save that to kill these fools. All right, well, Hellboy, you're gonna go through your deep pockets. Draw something, find something good. The card is field dressings, those are sweet. That could be used on Liz later. Uh, do you wanna do it again? I have to keep drawing, I can't take field dressings because they don't have that type. So I gotta draw again until I hit something of that type. We find a grenade. Concussive grenade, I like it. Yeah, let's toss a concussive grenade then into uh, this uh, fella's face. So it's three red against everybody. So against the um, first rampager, gonna take five, goes to three. He's got three left. One, two, three. The other one takes two, got four left. So this isn't damage, it's an attack. So I use resilience here, and then the big boss creature, four, its resilience right now is five minus two for the two markers, so it's gonna take one. Let's discard this during the Asian phase to draw from the bottom of the acquisition deck again. Let's just discard this sucker and see if we can find something super cool. What do we find? A blasting charge. Well, let's go with the Ohio and see if he can finish these fools off. He's gonna fire his pistol at the injured one with three left. Resistance two, we get five here to kill it. Uh, I could use this as a reroll, or I could use it just as flat two. Do I use this as a reroll and just reroll them all? 
I think I use this reel and reel them all. Try and get five. <laughs> Zero. Fry again. Oh, there's six. That'll kill this one. One last time against the other Rampager. He needs a seven to kill him. Nope, that's one damage. Three left. All right, B, what do we do here? I think we hit. I think we just punch. Or we could try and shoot with Hellboy's pistol. Yeah, plus five additional damage. Should just kill this guy. He's he's a really terrible shot, but it's worth a try. What do we got? Plus five, we'll reroll these. That's a six. Six is still enough. Does three and kills him. He's got one left. I think we back out and make it chase us. Let's go one, two. This has one left, but you can't do anything. So that's gonna be that. All right, no, no resting. Uh, so let's get some action cubes back here. We really need this thing to chase us. So what does it do? Attacks. Uh, makes a melee attack against someone in the area. It moves towards the nearest area that contains an agent. Uh, if it moves in an area containing an agent, it stops making melee attacks. It's gonna attack Kraus. He's gonna stand over here. He's getting stabbed. He's defense orange. He's just gonna try and not die. <laughs> so he'll boost it once and go orange, orange, red. He has to beat a 10 here. This is gonna be bad. I could double that to a five, so he'll take five damage. This means his stability goes down by one. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. We gotta try and kill this thing. I think I think Liz can do it though. So let's do a mm, start with Johan. He's gonna move. He's gonna take a damage though. He's gonna leave the area here. He's gonna take another one from this. And come with him because he spends two action cubes to do it. And then, oops, these have got the wrong counters on here again. Uh, then we're gonna go with Abe. He'll go one, two, and then two, or sorry, yeah, and then two to arrive, use all of them. And then Liz is gonna spend two to jump up. And then she's gonna burn an eight. He's a plus five right now, so this is gonna be a big hit, I hope. So it'll be red, red, red. And this, don't roll the potato. There we go, all right, so she's plus five, so 10, 13. Its resistance is one right now, it takes 12 damage. It goes from 24 to 12. And can Hellboy kill it? He's got to move once. One, two. And then he's going to make a stab. Got one upgraded die. And... Uh, he gets to reroll that though. Yes! So that's going to be eight. Nine, ten, thirteen. Uh, its resistance is five goes to three. Ten more damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our warding talisman is still good as is our ancient blade. Last attack, come on, kill this thing, buddy. Just, just punch it right in the face, as you do. So there we go. So six, uh, seven total, uh, minus two, minus three, sorry, is four. One, two, three, four, and he kills it. Oh man, get that lucky um, wild card on Liz and being able to amp up the fire damage. I meant that she was real good at nuking that fella, <laughs> but holy crap, is he terrifying. Not taking two actions to turn isn't so bad, um, but sorry, actually, Liz had to flip two more damage. Uh, no, it's when she moves out of that square, actually. Sorry, she wouldn't have had to. When you arrive in a square that's been destroyed, you take two damage when you leave it because it, like, cuts you up and stuff. So she was actually okay there. But yeah, this, this big fella is terrifying. Hits, like, a ton of bricks. Um, super dangerous. Does a lot of throwing and stuff like that. But we managed to find enough clues to make him not so terrifying and then use the good old, like, pyromancy, basically, to burn it to death. So you have it. End of the playthrough, we managed to defeat the tentacles of Sad Sad Saduhem. The tentacles. <laughs> the tentacle monster in the barn. <laughs> it was pretty Dunwich horror, actually, although the barn didn't get up and walk away. Um, and there wasn't an invisible giant dinosaur monster in there. It was still pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, we, I, It felt a bit easier than the previous one we played, where not everyone was all beat up at the end. And we had all the tools we needed to try and fight it when it was all said and done. But uh, yeah, we'll see, how, we'll see how the next one goes. So two games left. Uh, playing through the initial case files from the uh, the box and I hope you enjoy that and we'll see you for another one in two weeks till then I'm Ash happy working I hope you enjoyed that video if you uh, want to support the channel of course like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content I do post stuff seven days a week uh, if you want to support the channel um, further you can of course buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs um, or of course most importantly there is Patreon Patreon is what makes all this possible uh, keeps the lights on pays for the studio costs pays for the equipment model costs and everything else and most importantly um, 
puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.